Good day everyone and welcome to Exile News, the weekly show that brings you all the important news and information on Path of Exile. The one week race has finally started. There is a softcore and an hardcore version of the race, however, both have the same mods and the prize pool is shared between them. Players who reach certain levels or higher will have a chance at winning multiple rewards, which in this specific race are absolutely amazing. Masters will be spawning normally during the event, it's however up to the player to decide if it's worth leveling them up or not. Another important thing to know is that only your highest level character in this league on your account will be considered and that entering with multiple accounts will disqualify you. GGG released the first batch of information from the 1.3.0 update coming in December. The upcoming Challenge League will be called Torment, while the Arcor Challenge League will be called Bloodlines. In Torment, the players will be hunted by spirits of tormented criminals that will drop their gains when slain. However, these spirits will flee from the player and empower nearby monsters and even possess them, greatly increasing their threat and their value. In the Bloodline League, each pack of magic monster has a shared Bloodlines mod that greatly influences combat. Now, this is the same concept behind Nemesis League, except that it's applied to a group of blue monsters with, of course, very different effects. As always, there will be 8 new challenges to complete, with a totem pole decoration for your hideout that will appear after completing the first challenge and will grow taller and more impressive as you complete more challenges. The 1.3.0 update puts a lot of focus on revamping the players vs player side of the game. A new fully fledged master, Leo Redmain, will be introduced along with daily missions and many PvP crafting options. Leo will have his own hideout, based on the garden tileset, but unlike other masters he will not take up a spot. This means that even if your hideout is already full of masters, you can still add Leo. Three tournament types will be introduced and scheduled at specific times. Free for all tournaments will take place in the Sarn Arena. There are massive brawls where you get a point per player kill and if you die you're sent to a new arena to continue the fight. Blitz tournaments are a series of duels where you're quickly matched against a new opponent as soon as your last round finishes and the goal is to get as many victories as possible within the time limit. Swiss tournaments will run in a regimented series of matches, each one a best of seven and provide the most competitive structure by placing players with similar records against each other. The first PvP season will be based on low level PvP, since this is at the moment the most popular form of dueling. Players will have the possibility to create a PvP only character, this character will start at level 28 and will only be usable in PvP matches. Keep in mind that you will still have to gear it yourself. Much like other competitions in Path of Exile, there are going to be many prizes including alternate art uniques, prizes from sponsors and even a chance to be invited to a special event for the top players. The new update will bring a massive number of other improvements, starting from a much asked filtering functionality for your stash tabs, 8 new gems, 25 new unique items and a new improved skill tree in the Templar, Marauder and Duelist sections. All players will receive a one-off passive tree reset so that they can adjust to the changes. As a reminder, update 1.3.0 will be released at 5pm on December 12th US Pacific time, which means around 3am on the next day for Europe and 2pm for New Zealand. This Sunday there will be another episode of the State of the Exile podcast, where your usual hosts Ziggy D, Pox and Xenocide Genius talk about the state of the game along with a guest which is different every time. What is special about this week's episode is that GGG's lead developer Chris Wilson himself will be the guest. So if you're interested in hearing more exclusive information, sneak peeks and if you're ready to be trolled with fishing jokes, be sure to check it out by clicking the link in the description below. This wraps it up for this week's episode, if you enjoyed the video or if you find it useful be sure to leave a like and a comment down below, also if you want to remain updated every week with the latest news be sure to subscribe to my channel. So that was all, I've been your host Giorgio and I'll see you guys the next time.